All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Three Man Abroad out and about here in London. All right, and this time around, we're going to showcase some of the most amazing places to go around London to take pictures at nighttime. All right, but just before we get into that, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and smash the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And comment down below on any other video ideas you'd love to see, and hopefully, we'll make that happen. You know what time it is. Let's go. Check on lighting. Don't know. We've got Vi doing the intro. Hey. We've got me behind the camera. <laughs> Whole production team out here. Gang gang. Let's go. I've done this take a hundred times. Run it up, big man. Run it up. I'm perfectly happy. This time we're in Athens, Greece. And you will get a view like no one. This is one of my favorite movies. guys so we are at canary wharf okay nearest station obviously is canary wharf station accessible via the jubilee line now i love this place man there's so many places where you can take some amazing pictures candid landscape you name it okay but right behind me is adam's palace okay but this bridge that you see is camille walalala bridge also known as one canada square and i'm gonna get my photo shoot on Okay, so let's go. Our next spot, we are here outside the London Excel Exhibition Centre and the nearest station from here is Royal Victoria and you can access that via DLR or through cable cars. Now why this spot? There's a couple spots around here which are just perfect for nighttime photography and you'll see what I mean in just a sec so let's go check it out. everyone here we are at our next spot we are here at the Leiden Hall building now this is going to be about an eight minute walk depending on how fast you walk from Liverpool Street Station accessible by Central Line I don't know why we're doing this whole accessible by this station or this line with this video but we're doing it anyway so you guys know for sure anyways with this spot there's a lot of buildings surrounding this place so when you do pan upwards you will see this whole like look up shot as they call it and you get to see all the buildings pointing upwards and you get this really whole like awesome like angle type shot with like buildings pointing upwards and 
even just daytime you guys are really gonna like enjoy the pictures here because all the glass and stuff starts to reflect the light and it just looks so crisp yeah you know, when you're doing it in front of the camera so come check this place out you guys are gonna like it and i hope you guys like the pictures as well Alright guys, so we're here at our very next location, Millennium Bridge, okay? So one of the reasons why a lot of people come here is for the view behind me, St. Paul's, and obviously the nearest station is St. Paul's Station. But not only that, you get quite a nice view of the Shard on my left and on your right, the Oxo Tower amongst the west side of London as well. So come check it out, it's kind of like a good nice 360 view of London and right behind me is of course Tate Modern, so come check it out. Oh, you're not taking a picture of me, bro? Oh. What's the point of me po- See, this guy got me posing, yeah, think I'm gonna take a ready. picture. Always ready. always ready for a pic. <laughs> now, nah, guys, we're at our next spot, okay? So, right behind me, as you can see, is Tower Bridge. Now, where I'm at, nearest station is London Bridge Station. And when you come out of the station, literally cross the road, walk down, like, in between these buildings, and you'll be right here. So, where you will get an amazing view of Tower Bridge and once Vi pans after this, you will see an amazing view of central London also. And I'm telling you, some of the pics here that you can take are just too nice. And the vibe is always chill, man. So come check it out. All right guys, so we're here at our very next location here, right next to London Eye, all right? So the nearest station here is, of course, Westminster Station, accessible via the Jubilee Line. I know this is a recurring thing, accessible by the nearest station, but we're trying to be helpful out here, so allow us, aren't it? <laughs> so why are we here? London Eye is amazing, especially at nighttime, because when it does light up in all sorts of different colors, it's amazing to take a picture of. Uh, you can take multiple images and multiple angles going through the Embankment Bridge right here, or even the bridge, which is right behind me. Not only that, Trafalgar Square is not too far away, so you can take it to some amazing pictures. So definitely don't miss us out. Right, guys we're here at our next spot we are here at Regent Street Vi what's the nearest station from here Oxford Circus and Shaq what's the best thing about this place the vibes <laughs> it's, just, it's a street with vibes it's, it's, a, it's a bougie no jokes aside though the best thing I love about this street though as a kid is coming to Hamley's and playing with all the toys which I still do at my grown-ass age with a beard I still have a beard you know? What? what? You ain't been Hamleys? This At one point big boy ain't been Hamleys. Okay. Right All right, Next then. Next video we're doing, we're taking by Hamleys. <laughs> but nah, it's mad. Yeah. Anyways, guys, check the pictures out. You guys are going to like this spot. Come check this place out.
All right, guys, so hopefully you've enjoyed that. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And also, comment down below and let us know which one was your favorite spot and where you would like to go and take pictures at. There we go. All right, as you know, three man abroad out. And, and peace. peace.